Oh shit. Hey, what's up, you guys? Cheese pops. This is... Oh my god. Again with that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey there. Especially with cheese puffs. <laughs> Uh, the boy just loves cheese puffs, I guess. Yes. I mean, I do too. But anyways, we're getting off topic here. Okay. Hello there, everybody. This is Tony, aka 22 Tiger Dude here. Um, it, it Tonight was Oscar night. So obviously, you guys get an idea. We're actually here again to now look at our results. We're going to take a look at the categories all of us got right and wrong. At the end, we will show you who got first, second, third, fourth. And then from there, that's when we'll discuss the whole thing. But of course, before we do get onto that, I'm here with Mr. WWE fan. <laughs> I'm filming. What the heck was that? You could have just pointed to me. What the heck was that? <laughs> Um, but no, I'm film fan 0599, and uh, M. Night Shyamalan wrote the uh, ending to the uh, Oscars, ladies and gentlemen, apparently. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah. Ne on to the next person, Mr. Hey, guys, I'm uh, Justin Watches Movies. Oh, wait, wrong card. I'm actually uh, Kevin Falk. Very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that uh, ending was, but uh, yeah. They'll never, hear the, uh, they'll never hear the end of this. And I'm Kevin Falk. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently 22 Tiger Dude is film fan 0599, and I'm 22 Tiger Dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tonight we all switch. We all switch usernames, you guys. We decided that I'm film fan and Justin's Kevin Folk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, yeah. That that was interesting. We'll get a little more into. Yeah, that we'll talk about we, that a little bit later. Yeah, but when we when we get to best picture, we'll go more into that. But yes, you guys, we're gonna go through our prediction results. Um, as for 2015, um, Justin was the winner of that one. Um, last year, I was actually the winner. So let's see how this year goes. So, of course, just like with the predictions, I will share my screen. So give me one sec. I'm checking the live chat just in case if anybody says anything. Sounds good. All right. All right, you guys. So... Let me make sure this works and all that. Okay, yeah, this one works well. So, okay. So, starting off with Best Director, um, the winner was actually Damien Chazelle for uh, La La Land. So, the four of us got this one right. Yay. All right. Knew that Congratulations, was gentlemen. There's so many that, like, we've got, we had to have gotten right because we agreed on so many of them. I know, right? So, yeah, we, did, we all succeeded with Best Director. Now for best lean actor, we all predicted Casey Affleck. Congratulations to him for winning. That is fucking for... check mark. Well, there's no other better check mark to do, Kevin. This is the best I got. Uh -huh. Tony, that is the just... most beautiful check mark I have ever seen in my life. Oh yeah. Oh, thank Lit you guys. Literally the best check mark ever. Oh yeah. Thank yes. you. Yes. And you know what? I'm gonna add a smiley face to that. It's like a yay. yay. So okay, so, so right. Yep, we all got that right. Right. And <laughs> once again, right. Emma Stone. Congratulations to Emma Stone oh, for winning for Lala. Tony, that, that was fine. You didn't have to like. Kevin. 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 Shut your face Kevin. before someone punches it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, people. Don't, don't, because you know some people don't know how. Like don't know what a joke is. Apparently, Kevin. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not joking. No, I'm just joking, you guys. Okay, now once again, we all actually predicted this one right. Mahershala Beautiful. Ali. Mahershala Ali won best um, supporting actor. Yes. So good job, everyone. All right, Viola Davis won yeah. for Fences and best supporting actress. So congratulations to her, and congratulations to all of us for getting this one right. Beautiful yep. check. Thank you. Mm. All right. We all predicted Zootopia, and Zootopia yep. is the winner. And I yes, think it's about when Tony it. I'm Listen, I love Kubo and everything, but people are saying Zootopia didn't deserve the win. It deserved it. Come on, people. It they did. were both great movies. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, honestly, it shouldn't, it shouldn't matter who really wins at the end of the day, though. 
like I said, Zootopia was the most socially relevant. We it, it was obvious it was gonna win. Like there was. Yeah. No it is a it is a great film, so I'm happy for its win. I mean, there was a point where I thought Moana was gonna win, but not Zootopia. Yeah. Okay. Now for this one, um, Justin, congratulations! You actually <laughs> got this one right. Um, as for the rest of us, yeah, gentlemen, we were screwed on this one. Yeah, we got wrong. Yeah, I was way wrong about this stuff. I thought for sure they'd be like snowed because of the director not being there, but I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, congratulations on that, Justin. Kudos to you. What was with that dance? That's yeah, that would be do it. All right, now we're on to best I was really, original screenplay, and congratulations, Kevin. I was really hoping. Kevin, dance. Hey. hey. Yeah, congratulations, Kevin. You got this one right while the rest of us... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking knew it. Don't put X's on us, Kevin. Don't put X's on us, Tony. We tried. We tried. Really. <laughs> we tried. We get a Ms. Participation Award. It's, if we tried, it's all that matters in life. That's true. Like my first graders. Just got to try. <laughs> Wait, what the heck happened? Oh, no wonder I put the same thing twice alone. I ended up taking you 15 idiot. stars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. no! Tr trust me, I know I made a mistake there. Really? All right. Wait, wait. I thought next was a uh, best adapted screenplay. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, it was. Wait, what? Yeah, come heck? on. Okay, okay, everyone, give me one sec to open this up. <laughs> okay, guys. For some reason, I couldn't find it, but for best adapted screenplay. All of us uh, predicted that Moonlight was going to win Best Adapted Screenplay. I got that right. Who, who, did we all get that, I right? Got that right? Yeah, I actually remember all of us predicting that one. So we all got that right. All right, nice. Sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea where the Adapted went. But okay, yeah, now that I have everything sorted out, um, this one should be, let's see. This is Best Original. We were just on Best Original Song. Best original song. No, hold on. There we go. It's the next one. Don't, don't, okay. don't. It's no, it's there you go. Because I'm looking at my paper and it says like cost of design, but I'll take care of that later. All right. So for best original song, we have um, City of Stars. And this one won. And Justin, I'm sorry, my friend, but. I don't um, know what I was thinking. I thought it was like a beautiful tell. I honestly, I, I would have thought it was going to get that too, but. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, next one is best original score. And congratulations, gentlemen, you predicted it right. Yep, and you got the butt to the face. Yep, yeah, I did. Oh, my goodness. What were you thinking? I don't know. That's what I was You're asking. to be a rebel. Right? Yeah. All right, so now next up, we have best documentary feature, and we actually got this one right. It went to OJ. No, Mid you're supposed to. You're supposed to do the check mark when we all get it right. Oh, that's I'm right. What I are you doing? What the hell is wrong with you? All right, there you go. You get a circle and a check mark. Yay! I originally was supposed to go with "I am not your Negro," but I changed that last second, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> yeah, we all, all right, got this one wrong go. except Justin. All, all right, you guys. Uh, Justin got this one right. Oh, I really want to know about his violin. I, I really want to know Joe's violin too, but... Fuck Joe violin. <laughs> <laughs> what the what hell are you doing, doing, boy? Oh, my God. All right. Next up. Okay, now hey. next one. Uh, Kevin actually got there this There you go, show. Kevin. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, Kevin. Voting for the worst movie of the year. But yeah, good, good, good call on that. Access out, Tony. Gosh, <laughs> I know. I'm like xing you guys out. That. Like it's okay. You didn't predict it right, but maybe next time. Wow. Maybe next time. Probably. All right. Next one is production design, and which you guys got that, that right. Yep, and oh, Tony gets the butt it. in the face again. I don't know. I thought Tony, it was gonna. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a curveball for this one, like there have been for some categories tonight. But well, your curveballs missed. Yeah, it missed hard, real deep. All right, we all so got for, this wrong. <laughs> yeah, this one went to Hacksaw Ridge, which I'm actually happy about. 
Yeah, that was nice, honestly. I'm glad Hacksaw Ridge got something, but yeah, we all got this one wrong. Mm. Yeah, that was surprising. I was surprised by the amount of stuff Hacksaw Ridge got. <clears throat> all right, so now for best cinematography, we all actually got this one right. Yay. Yay. America. Yay. Fuck. Sound yeah. editing. We all got this wrong. Yeah, sound editing actually went to Arrival. Yeah, that was surprising. Whoop. And Bagel. whoop. We all suck. <laughs> now for and Mid guess who Did was I the only one? one that got this right? Good, good job, Mr. Film Fan. All yeah. right. Why the fuck did I? If, if I would have uh, guessed mix instead of editing, I would have gotten Hacksaw Ridge right. Damn it. Yeah, I know. I I wish I like. I figured because it's a war movie, and you know that's what usually. Oh yeah. That's what usually wins these like sound mixing things. Oh yeah. All right. Best what visual effects. Water Horizon. Best visual effects went to the Jungle Book. Yep. Sorry, Kevin. I don't know why I said Deep Water Horizon or anything. <laughs> well, you did, Mr. Falk. You did. You did, Mr. Falk. You did. All right. Now, next one we have is best we all got this wrong. short film. Yep, it went to... So make a, make a big old X on that. <laughs> Fucking you. The second we said Borrowed Time, like, it's going to be Piper. It's going to be Piper, but it was too late. I already said Borrowed Time. <laughs> All right, now for best live action short film, we none all of us got this wrong. Right. Yep, it's not the Illumination animated movie. This is the live action. It was short funny film. because the two that Kevin since, and Tony. And since we play. apparently skipped costume design, I think we all got. Uh, did we all get that Honestly, wrong? I didn't even remember which one I picked. I just knew it wasn't Sing. Like I didn't even know which one we picked. I just remember we picked like one with a cool poster. Oh, okay. So. All right. So I guess for best costume design, well, I have my paper right here, very quick. Best costume design, we had um, Allied, Fantastic Beast, Florence Foster Jenkins, Jackie La Land. I predicted um, La La Land, but Fantastic Beast won this one. Mm -hmm. You I guys predicted, remember what you predicted? I predicted I La La lost. Land. I lost. Okay. And then you, Kevin? Uh, for what? Costume design? Yeah, for costume design, what would you predict? For that? So we all got that wrong. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So just pretend I'm marking it wrong, you guys. All right. All right. And then and the now, last. You guys, guess the, what? We actually got this right. I can't. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Are you fucking kidding me? You mean to tell me we did not get this right? Wait, what? This is a fucking joke. What? I thought. Guys, La La Land didn't actually win Best Picture. Fuck. Mm. Oh man, the biggest goof in the history of the world <laughs> of the Oscars. All my cities, I know the world is pissed, and I don't blame them. I am bummed for the cast of La La Land, but yeah, the best picture is actually Moonlight. This is glorious. More deserving. <laughs> All right, now, gentlemen, we're gonna get to the scoreboard. Oh, Are boy. you ready? Oh my God. Okay, here are the results for those that are watching. Um, Auburn Wanderer is in the chat right now. Thank you for watching this live, Mr. Wanderer. Okay, guys, here is the scoreboard in three, two, one. Um, okay, so uh, as you guys what? can see, what? <laughs> so as you guys can wait, see, um, okay, wait, let me talk and then you guys could have your reaction but as you guys can see kevin folk is actually the winner of the oscars hey, prediction hey, game 2017 hey. with 18 right and 16 wrong and we actually have a tie this is the second time in this prediction game that this has happened um i remember me and film fan were tied in 2015 with second place and now for this year Justin and Film Fan are tied for a second place. Um, you both got 14 of the predictions right and 10 of the predictions wrong, which really isn't bad. So good job to both of you. Why, thank good you. Job. At least it's and not 12 and 12 again. Good job, Film Fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, Film Fan. This is actually your I'll best year. The other person. Mm -hmm. 
Um, unlike me, where this was not my best year. I am actually in last place, you guys, with 13, uh, uh, with 11 right and 13 wrong. But because Justin and Film Fan are tied, I'm actually in third place mm. rather than fourth. Place. Nope, you're in fourth place. Yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, 18 um, out of 24, and then you guys 14 out of 24, and then me 11 out of 24. So, yeah, so, that is unfortunately the scoreboard. And let me go ahead and show my face and sh Inception zoom in. So, okay, you guys, here is how this is ac this actually worked down. We actually wanted to change it up a bit this year. Um, and thanks to my guests right here, they actually came up with the ideas for what happens for first, second, third, and fourth. Kevin, because you won first place, you get to review a movie that you loved as a kid that you still love now. High School Musical. So, here we go. <laughs> so, nice. So yeah, that's that's first place right there. Looking forward to that review. Now, Justin and Film Fan, since you are both tied for second place, you guys get to review a 2016 movie you didn't get the chance to see. So moving from 2016, you didn't get to see and review. That's what you both get to do since you're both tied. Since I am in third place, I get to review the film that won the most Razzies. It doesn't matter what year. Fourth place is actually someone has to review the hottie and the naughty. But thank thank the Lord. Oh, you're still doing that. that. I don't have to review it. Like, seriously. I'm taking third place. Tony gets fourth place. You still have to do that. Nope. So just to recap, Kevin first place. Justin and Film Fan in second place. And then me with third place. So... That that's it. Um, I don't know if you guys want to say something regarding tonight. Um, um that ending. Tony um, third place. Uh, <laughs> Damien Chazelle. <laughs> oh my god! No, but that best picture. That best picture thing was like wow. Honestly, like it's funny when you think, but when you really think about it, like the cast of La La Land worked so hard. They go up and they seem like it seems like they're gonna get an award, and then immediately they realize, and then quickly they realize that it's not actually them. And, yeah. and Moonlight comes up. It's really like it's just really unprofessional when you think about it. I mean, I'm hoping that it's not a joke. I heard a lot of people say that oh, they did this intentionally. Jimmy Kimmel was trying to parody Steve Harvey. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping that this was just a really bad, careless mistake because if it actually was a joke, I mean, come on, this is the Oscars. You got to be a little bit more respectful than that. I know Jimmy Kimmel likes to go on his tangents. This was the best. There you go. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm so glad the main theme was not politics because – it's really depressing when people really bash each other and like. Yeah, that's what was my main reason yeah. staying away like, from the Oscars this year. Politics this, politics yeah. that, and it just it was a night of fun and bringing people together, and I just I had fun with that. And so, I'm glad it wasn't politics, 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 politics. It was just yeah, Jimmy Kimmel and I think a little bit too much, but other than like everyone else tried to keep it relatively focused on films, which I was happy about. Yeah. Personally, I think they went on way too long. I think there was a lot of stuff Jimmy Kimmel could have cut out that he clearly was just trying to do to to just stall time. But, I mean, he was the reason why this went over 40 minutes. It wasn't because of commercials. It wasn't because of speeches. It was because of Jimmy Kimmel. Way too much going on. And if you guys are upset about the 40 minutes, don't blame the ads. Don't blame the show. Blame Jimmy Kimmel. He's the reason why it happened. And, all right, I, I, I'm actually looking at the chat room right now. So G. Colby says, fuck that ending. <laughs> um, nice choice nice uh, choice of words there, uh, G. Colby. And then Tevya Smoka says, that ending sucked. I am still shocked that Kubo didn't win. And, um, and then Popping Movie says they were too focused on politics that they couldn't even read the card rights. Yeah. So, yeah, there were, there, were, there were clearly people that are mad about the ending. And, um, yeah, but... Overall, it was still a very fun night. Oh, oh, Auburn Wonder. He said regarding the predictions, he actually got 17 out of 24 right. So, wow, yeah. Auburn Wonder, you're actually close with Kevin there. Wow. Good been job, dying. man. Tony would have definitely been in wow. fourth place. Oh, if he was doing this? Oh, without a doubt. That all about do it, you guys. Uh, this Don't was a very fun night. It was. Yes. 
Yeah, it was a fun night. It ended in a rather uh, awkward note, but... <laughs> a funny, awkward note. So, you guys, be sure to check out Film Fans channel, Kevin Falk's channel, whoever this guy is. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Justin's channel. Yeah, well, my, uh, you, you can watch my channel where my live stream has now gotten blocked worldwide, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that's taken care of. Check, check out all of their channels. And, of course, uh, keep a lookout for all their reviews on their channels whenever they can get around to it. This is 22 Tire Dude here with Mr. Filmfan0599. Uh, Justin Watches Movies. And Kevin Falk. And um, don't forget that I will always have Wait a second, Lion wait a second. Power. Wait, did I say Lion Power? No, no. Otter Power. Yeah. No, no. Keanu Power. Look at that kitty. Keanu. Keanu Reeves John Wick Power, baby. I always oh, yeah. have Otter Power. Flower Powder. Otter Power. Flower Dog Power. power. Dog power, all the powers in the world, but most of all, tiger power is where wow, it all power. matters the most. <laughs> Goodbye, people. <laughs> good night. Good and night. Don't mess up. Good night and good luck. And and uh, yeah, that ending. Wow. <laughs>